YouTube world, welcome to another exciting video. Today we are talking more about, you guessed it, luxurious bastards, so stay tuned. Um, since first ordering from luxurious bastards, I ordered two more times from them. The second time I ordered a uh, bottle of their their co-wash, which is here. That wasn't on their website the first time. He was sold out. And I believe he sold out again. He sells out of this stuff pretty quick. And uh, I ordered a bottle of the Tobacconists. That was my second order right here. Each of these are $15. So I paid $30. Um, I get a 15% off code. And uh, I think it came to like 32 with shipping. Not too bad. Good on the price. And my second order... I ordered two more beard oils. I ordered the Curious Bastard, and I ordered the Smoky Bastard, which is right here. These were in my first order. I have to order another 1912. As you can see, I used almost half the bottle. It is right around here. You can probably tell in you know less than two weeks I, I used half that bottle. It's probably my favorite beard oil, and it is. I used less of the bomb. I mean, I used a decent little chunk out of there, um, probably around a quarter of it. The bomb is a stronghold and I'm not, I don't like stronghold bombs as much as I like a conditioning bomb, but I do like it still. You know, it's not like I won't wear it because obviously I do. What I usually do is I put some bomb in my hand. I scoop a little bit in my hand and then I put oil on top of it and I kind of rub it together and it, it kind of lightens up the hold on it and makes it into a conditioning bomb. This beard oil, the 1912, is amazing. It really is. You, you, can smell, you can smell that coffee and hemp in there along with tobacco and cedar. It's just, it smells old time. I really, really, really like it. Definitely, like, my favorite beard oil today. Absolutely. I've been using it the most, and I love it. Uh, with that first order, I ordered a bottle of the Holy Bastard, and I really enjoy this, too. You can see I probably used about you know, a little less than a quarter of the bottle. And I really like this, too. It reminds me of the smell of, like, a church. It smells kind of like like the frankincense and myrrh and all in there. You can you can smell it, and it's just amazing. If you want to kind of get the, a look at the color of this stuff. It's like a golden color. You know, it's a decent, decent yellow. And it's actually not the thinnest oil, but it's not the thickest either. It's a nice, solid, medium weight. This is a great company. This is up there side by side with Beard Octane and uh, Man Beard Company. All three of them are like struggling for number one right now. And I know I did a video uh, about a, a month ago, maybe three weeks a month ago, telling you what my favorite beard oils are, but that changes over time. You know, you don't kind of pick a beard oil and be like, that's my favorite and it stays your favorite for the rest of your life. I, I kind of go in between all of my oils. It depends what week I'm on. I will do a video at the end of the year letting everyone know what my favorite beard oils of 2018 were. I don't know if it's going to be a 1 through 10 type video. It might just be like, these are the beard oils I use the most. My second order, I bought his co-wash. And I've probably used this about four or five times. It has a nice coconut scent to it. Really nice coconut. I was using the Scotch Porter conditioner. And this is labeled co-wash. It's a conditioner, it don't foam up or anything. And uh, this actually gets my beard softer than the Scotch Porter got my beard. So I've been using this instead for the past four or five days. And it's, yeah, it's just amazing. Along with that, I ordered the Tobacco Nest. Now I absolutely love this scent. It smells amazing. It smells like cherry vanilla pipe tobacco. It has a really nice clean scent to it. And it smells great. This, the Curious Bastard and the 1912 are both my wife's absolute favorite. She loves both of these scents very much. And I do too. This has a nice um, a nice clove smell to it. Um, it smells really, really, really good. Really good. It has a nice, um, like I say, clove, like a little bit darker of a scent to it. Nice musky, manly scent. And it smells amazing. I'm so glad I got this. And then the next one I got, these two, actually, again, were on my third order. And then I got the Smoky Bastard, too. Now, 
It was kind of like up in the air whether I wanted to get the tobacconist or the smoky. I kind of asked the owner and the owner was like, get the tobacconist. You know, it's one of his top sellers. It's the top three sellers he has are all right here, which are the Holy Bastard, the 1912, and the tobacconist. But this smoky bastard is amazing. It really is. It smells exactly like you're at a carnival. You can smell the slow cooker burning. You can smell the popcorn, the butter on the popcorn. It's just sweet. And there's funnel cake, cotton candy, and it's just, it's, it's amazing. So I kind of wanted to do an update video on all of these things to let you know how I've been liking them lately, you know, what I've been wearing the most. And uh, I guess what you'd say what I've been wearing the most is the 1912. I don't stray very far away from just using Luxurious Bastard lately because I really like it lately. And what I really like, I kind of gravitate towards. I have gotten some really good scents in from other companies since then. I've gotten some good stuff from Magnum Beard Company. I've also got a really good beard oil from Royal Beardsman. That is a uh, bonfire brandy. That smells really good. And I got two new scents in today, actually, from Man Beard Company. Um, one is uh, he's going to be making a, it's called Morning Buzz. It's a coffee scent. It smells very good. And the other one is, the name's kind of up in the air right now. It's like a woods type scent. It smells, uh, he has the like cherry tobacco in there, like the campfire bonfire scent in there like a cedar woods type scent to it and uh it smells amazing amazing i kind of made some suggestions on what the name should be but it smells it smells really really amazing it really does uh that's up there was one of my new favorite scents i think it's going to be a very very good seller for him but uh the i just want to let you know luxurious bastard is it's not smoke and mirrors. It's not like something people are talking about that isn't good. It's that he has really, really great products. And I just kind of wanted to do a little update video on some of the stuff that I ordered uh, that was new that I've been wearing. They're amazing. I really, really like his stuff. I'm going to be putting a nice big order in in the next two weeks. I'm probably going to order bombs for all these oils that I got. And I also want to try his Woodsy Bastard and uh, his Original Bastard. I want to try them too. That's all I have on uh, Luxurious Bastard. So you can visit him at uh, LuxuriousBastardCO.com. I'll make sure I link it below. And I also wanted to give a, uh, a big thank you to uh, Beard Times with Scott. He did a little shout out for me yesterday and I gained like... 32 subscribers over him giving me a little shout out so i wanted to say thank you to that and i also wanted to give a good shout out to dancy bearded and beard strong 08 um dancy bearded is just getting so many subscribers lately he's been around for about two weeks and he passed me he has about 135 subscribers right now and i think that's really awesome way to go dan He's doing his 100 subscriber giveaway, so if you want to go to his channel, it's Dan C. Bearded. Subscribe, comment on his video, and uh, get hooked up for that giveaway. And I'm also doing a three-part 100 subscriber giveaway that I'm drawing the uh, the name out in uh, next Thursday. So uh, get hooked up on that. How you uh, how you enter that is uh, you have to be subscribed, like the the video and let me know what your favorite beard oil and scent is like who makes it and what the scent is so yeah that's uh that's everything i have for today thanks for stopping by stay classy and throw it at razor